Hello again. Hi, my name is Vicky. Um, uh, this is the second part of the video on progesterone uh, suppositories, or as you may by, know by the brand name Cyclogest. Um, I am a pharmacist working in the NHS in London, and I am also a patient receiving infertility treatment, just like you. Today I am going to give you some hints and tips on administering uh, progesterone suppositories and like the previous videos I've done on the infertility injections um, I've done this as an aid memoir for patients who are receiving treatment. Now there are two ways you can give your suppositories there is either the rectal route or the vaginal route it doesn't matter which one you pick you just pick whatever feels right for you and whatever works. Um, first thing you need to do is to wash your hands and find a nice quiet place to um, do this uh, so you can be undisturbed and obviously you need to set aside some time so you can lie down and rest afterwards to allow the suppository to absorb. Um, you need to grab one of these and uh, when you open it, when you open it as so, and what should come out is um, something that is about roughly about an inch long point at the top where you insert in first and it's flat at the bottom so I'm just showing you so what what it should feel like is almost like a candle it should feel waxy it should feel hard if it's soft and it starts to give away a little the fingers it's you, it's you check how you store it it shouldn't be anywhere warm or anything like that um, what I do is I pop it into the fridge or run it under some cold water just to get it firm um, you don't want it um, soft because if you try to give it rectally it would be very difficult to to pop in so I'm going to try and handle this as little as possible because it will start to melt in my hands now if you want to moisten the suppository because you feel it would be a little bit easier for you to put the suppository in there are two options one you can put some cold water on it just to moisten it a little bit the other option is to use uh, a lubricating jelly and you may have heard us this before um, this is KY jelly it's a, a well-known lubricating jelly that um, is used a lot probably you've heard it like in the when you had your ultrasound the jelly that they've used uh, to moisturize stuff before they put the the uh, scanner in um, this is basically what they will use it's something similar to this please 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 do not use vaseline it's greasy it's sticky it will cause a mess leave this on your makeup shelf or in my husband's case um, using it pre before a long run or a marathon to protect the, the sensitive bits on his skin. So never, never use a, a Vaseline. This is designed to melt in the body, so use this instead. Okay, now when you're ready, um, as I said, you need to um, you know, get ready to uh, set aside some time to lie down afterwards, get the TV on or any some music, something like that. So you, you've got something to preoccupy your time as you lie down. Um, I'm going to go through the vaginal route first. Um, there are two options if you want to use a vaginal route. Um, one, you can insert it like a tampon without the applicator. So, if you use, um, if you're familiar with using the nets, this will be a walk in the park for you because you, you, this is a well practiced routine. So, you obviously you know, remove this positive from its wrapper, um, um, insert it pointy end uh, first. Um, push it um, as far back as you can, but don't ram it in, just, just put it as you normally would with a let. And then after you finish, um, you lie down afterwards and let it absorb. Once you've finished, wash your hands and then you're ready to go. Second option um, involves uh, lying down, and I'm going to demonstrate. Um, lie down on the couch. If you lie down flat on your back, what you need to do is bend your knees, um, feet flat, um, you need to have your um, legs uh, hip width apart so you don't need to do that you're not in the stirrups anymore you don't need to do that just keep it uh, hip width apart you don't you only need to bend your knees as so because you need to keep them nice and relaxed there's no need for you to do that at all you're not a contortionist on Cirque du Soleil so you can keep this nice and relaxed and uh, again point you know with the pointy in the uh, suppository you just push it in Feel your way and push push inside in between your legs and feel your vagina and then when you're when you've pushed it as, as far as you can, as comfortably as possible, you can then relax, um, you can bend your legs and then just lie how however you wish, as long as you lie down and uh, give it time to absorb before you're ready and when you're ready just um, wash your hands and, and then you're finished.
the rectal route um, involves you to lie on your side. Now you need to lie on the side uh, with your favoured arm on top. Now because I'm right handed I'm going to lie on my left side leaving my right arm free. Um, I'm going to leave my left leg uh, quite loose. This is the one that you need to keep down. My right leg, um, I'm the one, the leg that's on top, I need to bend it uh, so that it's parallel to my hip. There's no need to bring it up really high. Um, it's, you don't need to be acrobatic again. Just uh, bring it up to hip width, and um, if you if you if you wish, you can get some uh, disposable gloves. Um, I'd still wash your hands before that. You can put that on, and if you're really blessed with a big Beyonce bum, uh, which I don't have, um, you may find it easier to lift your butt cheek up first before you put the suppository in. Again, pointy end in first, lift your butt cheek up if you need to, and then feel your way, feel the entrance of the anus, and then push the suppository up. Now, as you push it, push with your index finger, and um, when you push in, push a suppository inside and you need to get your finger inside as well. You need it to do um, push uh, about an inch in, so roughly about your the first index of your finger. Push it inside um, and this is to stop the, the suppository from falling out. So once you're comfortable that it's gone far, far enough that it's not going to fall out, you can pull the finger out and then what you need to do is to clench your uh, buttocks for a few seconds or as long as you can hold it just so that it's gone inside and then relax and then you can just relax your legs afterwards um, after you lie down for about, I don't know, uh, for a reasonable amount of time um, you can then get up and then wash your hands the key thing with um, suppositories the um, reason why I don't use it is that you need to make sure that you don't open your bowels for about an hour afterwards and sometimes with, with when I put, put it in I found that I needed to go and it's not a nice feeling so, and I don't have the same problem with the vaginal root. Now, um, I think the final thing I need to talk about is the side effects. Now, the most common one, not very nice, is a slight leakage down there that you get with a suppository. And that's the vegetable fat that you get um, when they make the suppository, that whole wax, that candle, candly waxy thing. That's the vegetable fat, and that's what you're going to see come out in your panties or in the toilet. When it comes out the toilet, it looks like um, a small amount of white gloopy paint. That's about as close as I can get to it. If you start spotting, um, and it's quite common, um, uh, about a few days after your post embryo transfer, um, it will come out as like a, a reddish, chocolatey brown sludge. Um, really pretty. Um, but there's no need to panic. Um, it's quite common, it happens. Um, Apparently, it's more common if you, if you use the vaginal route, uh, the suppository may cause a little bit of irritation. So, again, that's a good reason why not to round the suppositories in, just be very gentle. Um, and um, so keep calm, carry on, um, keep taking suppositories until your uh, pregnancy test date, and then follow the instructions from there. Um, if you wear it, um, if it's a very good uh, lesson to make sure that you wear. Um, panties, underwear, and if you have nice lingerie, uh, put a panty liner on it, um, just to obviously look after your expensive lingerie because we don't want to ruin that, um, but if there's a lesson to be learned here, don't wear it, you know, don't feel that you can go commando or wear crotchless panties because you will ruin that nice pair of Levi jeans or that pretty Karen Millen dress, so you have been told, um, do, do take precautions, um, but I'm not particularly bothered, I wear some old-fashioned MS uh, knickers and uh, it pretty much comes down and wash very easily but as I've done with all the old previous videos um, when you when you uh, administer your medicine um, you always treat yourself you know this is no exception you know you're doing this for a good couple of weeks this is for the long haul here and uh, th this time I've treated myself no less to a good old um, old-fashioned pair of big boys M&S knickers this is the non VPL version and I'm going to enjoy that if you fancy doing your you know your treats at Victoria's Secrets that's well up to you but that keeps me nice and happy 
Now, I believe this is the last of the medicines I'm going to be giving myself for fertility treatment and uh, then this is probably the last program that I am going to make. Um, I hope you found that the series of videos useful. I certainly have enjoyed trying to uh, impart what I think is useful knowledge for yourself and I wish you all the best of luck in the world again. Fingers crossed. I hope all goes well and thank you for watching. Take care.